Hi, my name is Stephen Phillips. I'm Director of Product Marketing. I'm joined by Michael Twiddle, who's President and General Manager at Quest of Microsoft Platform Management. Michael, welcome. Thank you, Stephen. So Michael, tell me why the launch of Quest On Demand, our first SaaS solution, is so significant for Quest. Great question. So uh, we launched our first um, SaaS platform last year, uh, middle of last year, called Quest On Demand. And it's an important milestone for our business because when you look at our customer base, they're on a journey of transitioning to the cloud. And they're looking for management, you know, auditing and, and migration solutions that are delivered as a service that will match the cloud platforms that they're adopting, which is specifically Office 365. So for us to follow what our customers are doing, we need to be able to offer solutions in the same way that they want to purchase. You know, Michael, from a marketing perspective, I've seen the pace of our development really accelerate with our R&D and engineering teams. I've seen silos within the organization broken down as we're working closer and closer together. You know, as we do that and we get closer to the customer to really build enhancements and features that they want, what are other areas you think should be a focus as we go into the SaaS mm -hmm. space? Well, to be honest, I mean, the entire business needs to be focused on SaaS because it is very different than uh, developing on-premise solutions. So when you look at the traditional products that we have, um, which are very important to our portfolio, so we're going to continue to invest in them, but the development cycle is very different, right? So we would take requirements, it may take us you know, three months to build them, another three months to test them, and then we release it. So um, in the SaaS world, it's very different. So it's more of a continuous delivery mechanism. And we don't build everything all at once and then release it. So it's, it's definitely the attitude of let's build a skateboard and then let's build um, <clears throat> let's transition that skateboard into a bicycle and then transition that bicycle into a motorcycle and then transition that into a car. So it's a very iterative process when we do that. And um, it's not just the engineering teams that have to focus on it, it's, it's everyone within the business. So we take a lot of feedback from the pre-sales teams, from the sales teams, directly from our customers because we want to be able to build things and rapidly release them. Um, and get that real-time feedback. So we want to make sure that we're building things that our customers really want. And um, from a continuous delivery standpoint, it allows us to do that with these SaaS solutions, which is pretty cool. So why do you think now is the right time for us to grow our SaaS presence? Well, it, it is just the, the right time from a market perspective. So we are very dependent on what Microsoft does. So we, our portfolio is depending on um, enhancing what Microsoft delivers. And their whole business model is, is you know, getting customers to the cloud. Um, and modernizing IT. So they want um, organizations to adapt Azure and, and really consume Azure consumption and uh, actively using Office 365. So, um, so we are being not necessarily you know, dragged into this, but we're really pushing and, and, and riding the coattails of what Microsoft is doing. And um, when you look at the industry in general, um, a lot of the companies that we compete with um, are growing and they're specifically growing their subscription revenue. So it's a, it's a great time for us to, to join in. Yeah, you mentioned the Office 365 adoption and how Microsoft's really pushing that. You know, in March we're launching another module within Quest On Demand, mm -hmm. which is around tenant to tenant on demand mm -hmm. migration. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about, you know, why did we go there? Well, you made the analogy about the skateboard then building a bicycle. What really drove us to, to make that our next part mm -hmm. of the release? Mm -hmm. So we've been in the migration business for as long as I can remember. And traditionally we would do migrations from migrating customers from old versions of the Microsoft platform to new versions of the Microsoft platform. But in addition to that, there's a lot of mergers and acquisitions that happen. And traditionally it was two companies that have on-prem you know, um, data centers and they need to consolidate those into one. But as companies adopt Microsoft Office 365 more and more, when we see these mergers and acquisitions, and even diversitures, it's not necessarily taking these on-prem data centers and consolidating them or splitting them apart. They're companies that are already in Office 365 that have Office 365 tenants. So they need to consolidate those or split them apart. So it really, this whole um, migration to the cloud has introduced a lot of net new migration scenarios, which is why we built the solution to merge Microsoft Office 365 tenants together. So Michael, in general, in your deep background, you know, what have you learned when it comes to a company launching a cloud SaaS product? Mm -hmm. So what I've really learned is that, uh, you know, building and supporting, you know, SaaS offerings are, are different than, than on-prem and not a good different or bad different, they're just different. 
and uh, it gives us a, a much better opportunity to really connect with our customers. So we've actually had very successful customer advisory boards where they have given us very real feedback about how we would expect your solutions to be delivered in the cloud. Um, so we've really taken that to heart and have built you know, solutions that our customers have been asking for. Um, and not only is this you know, from a SaaS perspective, but the other lessons learned by building these things is that you support your customers differently. So um, you can actually move into more of a proactive support model versus a reactive. So, Customers don't have to call us to say, hey, I tried this and it didn't work, right? Since these are SaaS solutions, we're continually monitoring them with our great DevOps team so we can actually see when errors happen um, and proactively reach out to our customers to say, well, this is why it happened, try it again, um, or this migration failed, or these 10 users failed. Um, so we can be more proactive in supporting our customers, which is really what we want to get to. So, Michael, we talked about what we're launching in March, the Quest On Demand migration, 10 to 10 migration offerings. You know, can you give the viewers a sneak peek for what else is in the roadmap coming down the pipe? Sure, sure. So, when we look at our business, there's really three pillars that we follow. So, it's migration, management, and audit. And when we look at our um, portfolio, that's where we focus our attention and our engineering efforts. And when we look at on-demands, um, we actually have modules that are in release today. So, we have a great solution for uh, backup and recovery of Azure Active Directory, and then policy management for Exchange Online and Skype Online. And then our migration offering will, will be what's next, um, but we're not going to stop there. So we're continually building out new solutions, specifically around being able to audit when changes happen with an Office 365. Um, we have a great offering that does that on-prem today and does have hybrid support, but this will be our first native auditing solution for Office 365, which is pr we're pretty excited about. And then also, when you look at Office 365 in general, there's a, a, a tendency of um, being able to create and manage groups, um, and that actually is pushed down to the end users. Um, so we're starting to get some specific use cases from our customers on how to better uh, do group management within Office 365 at an administrative level, but then also at an end user level. So those are some of the immediate things that are coming, and uh, we're looking to really build out the on-demand platform from there. You know, Michael, I think you hit the nail on the head. What we're doing right now is taking what we're known for and putting it into the cloud so mm -hmm. customers can easily use it, scale across their organization. And I think it's just a really exciting time at Quest. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you for your time. How about we get back together for the, for the viewers in a couple months and talk about the next iteration of Quest On Demand. Right. And uh, looking Today. forward to it. Thank, thank you so you much. Steven.